Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I have a very special one. So today we're gonna talk to some of the students at Art Center and get an inside view of how they're doing their first clay models, what they're feeling about it and how they do it. So if you've never seen a clay model getting done on what's the process, this is a great opportunity. So happy holidays to everyone and enjoy the video. So we're here, this is the four term studio and this is uh, where students are doing pretty much their first clay model off a car. They've done something smaller before, but uh, let's check it out, let's talk to them and see, get a, get a really good view of what Art Center is and the amazing quality of work that these guys create. Alex. Hey, how are you? Hi Alex, how are you? Pretty good. Nice to meet you. Cool. So tell me about it. What's going on? So yeah, well, this is basically the Thunderbird and basically how I approached this was I wanted to make it for a more feminine user. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started pretty much and then I just kind of started looking at fashion and ways that women like to tease and kind of just hide from certain parts of their body so to kind of get a, a, a reaction from the audience. So I kind of want to implement that into a car and then I started looking at fashion and all these like feminine references and I started looking into the drapery and how that can affect the car. So. Basically, my entire thing is just based on drapery and the way how I can hide certain parts of the car and, uh, to kind of tantalize the human and make it make them more excited, you know. So that's pretty much how, what I'm working on right now. So you can see this flap just covering the the part of the of the glass to kind of just hide the, hide the car just a tad bit. This will be um, it's kind of the it has this sort of pattern the one that they have on the public buses where it's dotted. Mm -hmm. So from the outside you can't really see in what they okay. use like the public ads, but from the inside you can see outside. So. It kind of goes along with the whole storyline. So I have this main theme running across here and that's slicing down and then blending into the body. And then I have this one coming over here. And when I do the, the actual headlight itself, it's gonna be um, a, an acrylic piece cut out and it's gonna come in here and it's kind of gonna disappear, but it's gonna be indicated. I'm gonna make some clay on it. So it make it look like it's being covered over by this fabric that's actually the entire body. Cool. So, yeah. How many hours have you been on this clay model so far? <laughs> Here's 24 hours. 24? 24 7, yeah. So you're here like overnight and yeah. taking naps somewhere in the floor somewhere near? Somewhere, yeah. Anywhere pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, it's looking really good. These sketches are really beautiful. So, I like yeah. this one. Is this digital? Is it? Is yeah, it, digital. Yeah? No. It's pretty... It's very powerful. Yeah. It's like it, yeah. it really brings me like I want to see it. It's exactly. yeah. beautiful. Yeah. You can see like indication of a human form without yeah. having to detail it a yeah. lot. So that's very smart and time saving, but at the same yeah. time it tells the story, which is really cool. Yeah. Cool, and you can see this is the backside of it yeah. because the other ones have the mirror. So you can see how he has that foam on here and then he has big, big layer of clay. Man, you packed a lot of clay on this one. Yeah, <laughs> it was way shorter and the cabin was moved way more more back. So I, they told me to just- So it was know, some adjustments. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, so then once he puts the mirror, it's gonna look like the whole car is there. Right, so. right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And look, here he has some sketches where he took a picture and then he digitally showed how it kind of like how the door would be open and what's some of the interior. Yeah. So that's that's cool. Cool, thank you. Right. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Nice. So what are you working on? Show me over here if you want. Oh, I'm, I just had taken a picture of the, the model. I'm just trying different graphic breakups because I'm trying to figure out my front theme right now so it that's that's basically I'm just a quick way of just like cutting and pasting colors and, and things as far as just trying to figure out how I want graphics color graphic breakup and material cool so um, so that's a pretty good um, showing how you can mix both worlds the digital or the physical so yeah. over a picture he's actually sketching over it Right, yeah. and you can make changes a lot faster. Yeah, and then you can, if you, once you like them, you can actually do with them over your model. Which... Yeah, and you can you can also take it and actually, you know, just take soft brushes and Photoshop or, or Sketchbook. I'm using the Sketchbook right there, but um, and you can you can take the, pick the colors of the clay and actually just manipulate it so it actually you're doing a three D or a two D version of what you think you might want to do before you come back and change it. So like this was like an earlier instance of something like that, like. This was how it was, but I just did like a, a light 
shade of a darker shade here, but it gave a line that was here that wasn't there. Okay, I see that. Yeah. So based on that, then I was like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and model that into this. <laughs> And that's just pretty much controlling the light on your vehicle and just yeah. by breaking the surface you can create like some very different feelings yeah, and definitely yeah definitely so but but my project like everyone else's it's, it's based on a 2027 thunderbird redux um, on the two occupant package from the first generation from the 50s um, and the 11th generation which was the only two times they had the two seat occupants the mm. rest of the time it was two plus two or four door Cool. at one point um, um okay even though it's a clay model and everything else i'm thinking about everything as far as packaging and how the v the person sits in here and their downward upper angles side view angles you know and how they're going to be able to sit in there and then uh it's supposed to be a luxury sport touring uh, coupe as far as the drivetrain my proposed thing was going to be a hydrogen electric plug-in electric hybrid okay so it has full electric um, battery pack for short distance, you know, 100, 200 miles that you can plug in at home with the convenience of that. But then if you want to be able to drive to Phoenix or San Francisco, you, you could get the gas. Oh, no, you no. get the right. short distance and long distance, full electric. Cool. Um, but in order to do that, you have to package for both. So you have a separate battery pack, fuel stacks, hydrogen tanks. Me, I'm, I relocated the, as far as what would be on the package, the thermal cooling like radiator but the the radiator is for water cooling the electric motors and battery packs to keep those um from well being as, as efficient as they can be power wise and longevity cool but by moving it horizontally here it leaves a a, a massive area that i can use for trunk space in the front mm -hmm. versus leaving the radiators in front and all this other stuff is here and then it, it minimizes how much storage that you can fit in the package I think another super cool thing that I'm noticing with him, it's as a designer, you have to figure out how to create things and, and put them out there. And I'm seeing that pretty much a lot of people would do like uh, 3D printed wheels and stuff like that. And yeah. I see yours are fully laser cut, right? Yeah, yeah, it was so, for a midterm, I, I just laser cut them. So that's a beautiful wheel that was done in a way that is a lot quicker to create, right? With a laser cutter. I don't know how hard was it to generate it digitally? Was it hard to... Well, to I mean, I just, I, I sketched it 2D uh -huh. and then just put it in Illustrator and it's all 2D and you just make your laser cut files. Yeah, but look at that. And then the wheel, the rim, all that with a laser cutter is something that it's not super complicated to create. The machine does it pretty fast. No, so yeah, it's like, pretty fast. How long does it take to cut that wheel? Like um, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, like how, like the actual yeah, laser yeah, cutting. Yeah, I mean, basically 30 minutes ish. When, when you do all the other 3D printing, it's right. hours and hours and hours. Oh right? yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, it takes a long time to print, especially if you're doing a high resolution printing. Now, is this going to be your final wheel? Are you going to like I'm, finish it up or are you going to do a, a different wheel? I don't know. I, yeah. I, I, had, I had built it. Um, Quality looks good enough that if it was finished, well, it, it looks pretty amazing. The, the neat thing about stacking laser cut is it gives you a tread okay <laughs> um but i made this where the screw comes out and the center section comes out so i if i wanted to mill something or print something then i could, I could still use the tire there. and i can just put it in there i don't have to do everything which makes it easier to paint um but i might just finish this i didn't really decide yet is that to get your camber on the wheel the um that there's there's an acrylic piece that goes under here at the end that's going to be white and i just want to make sure that it, it cleared if i put it on this Otherwise, I can put this on top of the acrylic and it will just oh. go back to, to that. So the which clearance is, will change. Yeah, yeah, so it depends on if I want lowered or so not. So we have a very smart guy right here that is thinking <laughs> ahead and that's, that's very impressive. Yeah, it's, it's good and bad. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you can overthink shit. Yeah, <laughs> but you can see like how symmetry is right there with the mirror, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's other details and stuff on here that I've taken off um, just because I was trying to figure out, like I said, window graphics and other pieces that will help um balance so like for but i'll end up making a separate piece that will mold on here because mm -hmm. earlier on i had a thing where i was debating on bringing the tail light around but for this because i, I ex accentuated the rear fender so much it brought the trunk area pretty narrow and without it it just seems narrow by adding this it it gives that width back to it and then it also follows yeah, it follows um, that part shape of, part really of good the and connects back into the trunk really yeah well. and then it gives it an interesting just aspect on the back but that also follows along with the rear view uh, okay mirror oh, kind of great. design too so it has the same kind of theme i love how you did that uh like sketch kind of like 
with a clay color, but it's just like to help you like indicate what you're trying to do and achieve this. That's pretty cool. So it's like a sh kind of like shape exploration kind of exercise? Uh, yeah, well that that was, I mean, that actually was the photo of the side. I just blended it in to take the wheels out. Okay. And then grayscaled it and then flipped it and then mirrored it and stretched it and gave myself a shape, which I had other ideation, but that basically led to like front and rear themes. That oh, that's, that's cool. Based off of the car theme. So that's I'm just that's really cool. Following it around basically. Do you guys catch that? Yeah, that's pretty cool. So he took his clay model then flipped it upside down, mirrored it kind of, then stretched it, and that was for him to get fresh inspiration to do something original and new without looking at external things. It's based off yeah. your car. And, and you, as when you see it, you will see that connection. And even if you don't know the whole backstory, it will just looks like it belongs there. So right. Very impressive. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Here we have Christian Martinez, right? Yep. You see, I know everything. <laughs> so Christian is working on his clay model right now. You can see he has some notes of what he's gonna adjust and change. And the beauty of this clay model is that it's against the mirror, so you don't have to deal with the symmetry, which is really hard when you do it digital, it's just copy paste. But when you do it on clay, you have to make sure that everything matches to the other side. So this gives you that freedom of just working from your sketch. You can see his sketch over here and the clay model so he's trying to just make sure that that 2d transition to the 3d transition gets together and he's working on a 2027 thunderbird which pretty much the whole class right yeah yeah exactly yeah? it's a it's a pro same project for everybody okay so you want to tell us a little bit about your project yeah so this is um well my project specifically it's for an older target target buyer and um he's probably most likely retired so he um it's just him and his wife so it's that's where the it's a two-seater so um he doesn't need much more space but it's supposed to be a personal luxury vehicle um because that's what the old thunderbird was so um uh yeah we have to it's it's two-seater for i think mostly everybody in here and um mine personally it's a little bit longer um just to give it more of that luxury feeling but um it, it, it varies with everybody in here so Okay. You, did you have any restrictions on the package? Did it had to be um, two-seater? Yeah, so it, it has, uh, originally it had to be a two-seater. He was going to give us the freedom to do um, two plus two if we wanted or something else. But, um, but I think most of us stuck with two-seater. And um, yeah, the, the, some of the restrictions, it was basically just the width. It couldn't be wider than, than um, uh, 2,000 millimeters. So two, okay, two meters. Two meters. Yeah. Some of us started off with some uh, abstract shapes and forms, like okay. folding paper or... Um, um, some spandex and then we would uh, stretch those forms and uh, uh, create different shapes and see what ideas we can get from it and then we would uh, try to sketch something out of that so create see what, what we cool. can create so and this, this would be what it was I guess the tape drawing in the past yeah, now it's exactly. all digital yeah so this is um, this is more of an uh, orthographic so um, yeah it's basically a tape package too but um, this he just basically just wants the lines the, the main character lines just uh, our basic dimensions, wheelbase, and uh, occupant position. Um, like, where is he going to be located? And this is like this kind of like a, our, the base. This is what we begin with, and that transitions into um, the the model itself. And it changes a little bit over time. So mm -hmm. what what we start with, it's a little bit. Uh, it, it changes a little bit from what what we end up with, um, but um, but its basic proportions and everything stays the same. Yeah. So yeah. So basically, this is you start with an outline to get an idea of how you're gonna pack your clay and get a little overall. And you're still gonna make changes on the go, but this gives you a very good idea of where your starting point is. And the other thing a lot of you forget is that you have to fit a human in there. A lot of people put like this super cool low windows and stuff where you cannot fit a person. So there's actually rules that say what angle of view they have to be and the actual heights and make sure that they fit in there. So that's that's always challenging because. You get like some really cool concept cars that then when you make it real and fit a human, the proportion doesn't look as cool. Yeah. So it's, you have to make sure that it looks good from the very beginning. Yeah. And in order to actually um, make sure that an uh, occupant actually fits there in the correct position, we actually have to benchmark a current vehicle uh, in order to um, um, uh, kind of have like a similar seating position and make sure it's actually possible to, to create the vehicle with, with that occupant and seating position. Okay. Cool. One more thing that I can show you guys here that is not fun is 
he hit the foam. <laughs> <laughs> so you pretty much make a, a foam model, kind of like this guy's over here. Let me show you really quick, right? And that, hit, that helps you as a foundation to start backing up the clay. So you get like a pretty rough shape of it and then you put the clay. So then you start modeling the, the clay. And the thing is here, when you hit that foam, then you get like this weird scratch on the clay. And then you have to make sure that you carve that foam deep enough so you can repack the clay and keep modifying it. And, and because once you get like a super smooth surface, that foam will really mess with your surfacing. So it's important to get it really out of the way. You can see some of his clay tools. So here's some of the clay tools that they use. And pretty cool stuff. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. You want to tell me a little bit of what you're doing? Uh, it's the Thunderbird 2027 uh, Redux. Mm -hmm. And we redesigned it. And my project is for the uh, young, uh, young lady around 30s. And uh, she is working for fashion industry who will have a lot of opportunity to go to the uh, fashion week and the wine party. And there she will meet a lot of uh, famous people um, in the fashion industry. So my design is basically for women. And in order to make the ingress and egress more convenient, I designed that rotate seat. The oh, cool. Door. So, yeah. so it's more like when you show up to the fashion show, like you get out in yeah. style. And, and women uh, always wear short skirt or long dress. so. Uh, ingress and egress is really um, sometimes it's embarrassing so I okay this. <laughs> cool so then you have like some really cool renderings that she's done and exploration shapes and your clay model looks pretty advanced already so it's, it's looking good so how soon would you have it in primer uh, I think about one week later one after. week later one week from now yeah. so you can see like she's refining all the detail and cleaning it up say symmetry comes from the mirror so that's a that helps a lot are you gonna make wheels for it like do you guys have to make like a yeah, yeah. Uh, i will do it in alias and 3d printing yes so you basically when they're working they have this temporary wheels that you set so your car looks good and you can get an idea of the overall feeling of it mm -hmm. but this is just like a you can see just like a foam with a stick mm -hmm. and then coming to the final model she'll have a, a more detailed worked yeah. wheel but yeah. cool thank you so much for your time thank you Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Any questions, any concerns, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next week.